What's up guys, we are back with another video. Today is Cypher number three. We got a lot mm. of good feedback from Cypher number two and a lot of good information, you know, yep. like the who they were dissing and all of that. That mm. was really awesome. We appreciate the crap out of everybody who comes in and comments Absolutely. and tells us what's going on and gives us a little inside scoop that we don't particularly know about. Mm. So thank you. Yeah, I mean, us being newer BTS fans, you yeah. know, like, it, obviously you know, it's there's a some old experience. stuff that like, yeah. we're not going to really know about BTS. So, we're going to do the patron shout-outs yep, really quick. Yep, we have quick. three new patrons, and yes. thank you guys so much for joining us. We're going to say your names right now. Yeah, so we have Asa, the loyal support to your thank patron. Thank you, Asa. Uh, Sadie, support to your patron. And Janessa, loyal support to your patron. So, thank you guys as so always, much. Yes, a huge thank you to our new patrons. Yep. You guys are awesome. Here is the updated, updated list. list of all the amazing new patrons. Yeah. As I've said plenty of times, these people are some of the best that the world has to offer in my Absolutely. totally unbiased yeah. opinion. So, <laughs> if you want to be a part of those awesome people, then you can yep. go ahead and go to patreon.com slash ITV. A lot of really cool perks there. Uh, link to our private Discord, um, patron only content. Yeah. All the usual patron stuff, you know, is usually there. So it's really cool. Recommend it if you want to support us, but you don't want to do it with money, which I totally understand. Totally then understand. just make sure to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and share this video with your friends. It does help out. Yes, time. we really do appreciate it. And like, go down below and comment. That helps with the algorithm. And it gives us feedback, okay? Yeah. If you guys comment, I go through and I like the comments because I do like, like all the information you guys are giving us. And I read them and I'm like, oh. That's what that was about. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. And then there was one comment that gave us specific information for these next two ciphers. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, guys. Yeah. That was and awesome. You, and you'll see me in the comments, too. I'm yeah, I, I'm the one that uses the Zaya TV channel. Yeah. But, sorry. He, he does all the work. I just... I <laughs> so, like, up. when you see a reply or, like, a heart mm -hmm. from, like, Zaya TV, it's, like, me. Mm -hmm. But I'm usually speaking on behalf of both of us because... Yeah. Yeah. Executive rule or whatever <laughs> <laughs> but with that we'll get into the video guys thank mm -hmm. you guys all for being here and uh I'm should excited. Be a good one. i know i know a lot of uh the people are saying two and three were their favorites mm -hmm. so i'm kind of excited well, hold on a second a little, a little fuzzy i don't know if the camera pick it up but <laughs> let's go All right, this is a little, a little powerful. It's aggressive. I mean, I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit. My yeah. ears are getting blown out. Killer. All right. All right, let's get it to it. I apologize exactly at a minute because you know, yeah, I'm a professional about this. Okay, so he comes in so hard. RM so came, fast. came to eat. That motherfucker was hungry when yeah. he into the studio. Yeah, he came to eat this shit. Yeah, he's like, got some energy. I'm, I'm feeling it. I so, there's a couple it. things that I really like. One, I, I love the look carefully. Mm -hmm. This is what you want the beast mode. When guys smoke and girls cheat, I smoke beat this a beat smoke. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's it's very clever. It's very, like, sounds really good. Yeah, it sounds really good. His ability to rap as quick as he is rapping at. Do you know by any chance the beast per minute on this one? Could you guess it? <laughs> no. 127. <laughs> I could <laughs> download it, put it in a beat per minute finder. Yeah. But no, it, it's 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 just such a fast pace. Everything sounds good. Now obviously mm -hmm. I don't know like I don't speak Korean I, and I can't understand it when I hear it. But it sounds pronunciated, right? Yeah. I yeah. and like maybe I'm wrong here, but like it doesn't sound very slurred. And usually when you hear slurs it's like it's like you can you won't hear that like sharp end to words, but you hear a very yeah. distinct end and sharpness to every word he says, and I think it's really really good. I, it's it's so impressive. What he's doing here is just. There's one thing you else don't I, see I, it wanted, here anymore. I want to talk about. 
Uh, so I live a hundred times harder than the bastards who do hip hop with keyboards. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so mm-hmm. true. I mean, because there's yeah. so many people that like literally like I, they make a beat with like a fucking like soundboard yeah. or something. Yeah. They're just like beep boop boop bop bop beep beep boop boop boop. Add some snares, add some drums. Okay, here's the <laughs> beat. All right, let me get on this track. Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Yeah, and, yeah. Like, <laughs> and like I love that uh, RM is doing what we talk about, which is like, hey, if you're these mainstream rappers, you guys are pathetic at best, right? And we stand by that. We agree with what he's saying. And here he is coming in destroying it. I think if somebody wants to do it, you guys should tweet this at like a bunch of mainstream rappers i think it would hurt their feelings well, another thing is like like this line right mm-hmm. here and this line is genius rap equals easy genre to them too many generals mm. you know and what i love about this is because there is a lot of people and this is where we get yeah. those rappers from yep that do rap because it's easy to them because yeah. mainstream rap yeah is easy to do yeah no disrespect to him but post malone switched over he was a metal singer right he was Mm -hmm. in like a rock metal band and he switched over to rap stating it's easy it's easy to blow up as a rapper okay Mm -hmm. and i mean that's what's sad is is because we lost the core essence of rap rhythm poetry uh because we lost that it has become extremely easy to blow up off of rap but then you get things like Gucci Gang, where it's like it's just not good. Like you get yeah. things like Pooh Shicey, it's just not yeah. good. Yeah, and I like that. Like this could be taken as too many generals, right? Like you think of like a general, someone in charge. I thought of this as general as just like no, it's a general person. Yeah, yeah, just, it's just like, yeah, yeah. There's too many like just regular like is people that aren't actual. General? No, oh, uh, thank that, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's just all these people that like just did rap not because they had yeah. a passion for it, but like oh I could do that. Yeah, like, they saw like little pump and they're like oh if he can do that I can yeah. do it. They saw six nine oh if he can do it I can yeah. do it. You know? Yeah, like and like that's why we have such an influx of all these like people that just like and aren't good. I absolutely. I lose respect for rappers that feature on those songs, like real rappers that feature on those mainstream rappers' songs because they're doing good and they want to give back into the spotlight. I think if you're doing that, you're failing yourself, you're failing the rap community, and you're failing your audience. Yeah. I have a specific person in mind right now, but I'm not going to say it. Yeah, I know who you're talking about, yeah. too. <laughs> but, okay, let's keep going. So, all you mundane people have some manners. I do like that because mm-hmm. mundane and manners, it's close. Yeah. And I'm sure it's really close in Korean. Yeah. And then bastards who can't even rap a single verse properly. Why do you even try to discuss rapper music? This is yeah. so fucking true. And this is like probably one of my biggest pet peeves about the world. Yeah. Is people with zero information about a topic love to tell you about it. Yeah. Love to criticize <laughs> what you do in that topic. And and you guys think you guys are probably like, well, you guys don't know how to go check out his music. Okay. <laughs> sure. yeah. But like yeah. it's so true. And you know, I think J. Cole said it best where mm-hmm. he was like He's like, why are you so worried about the people that tell you you can't do it, all the critics, but, like, none of them have ever done it. So, like, what yeah. do they know type of thing? Dude, that's that's kind of something I hate. Like, if you look at the movie Ratatouille, right, this motherfucker is super judgmental, and all he does is eat food. Like, what the hell? Like, your job is to eat. You've never been a professional cook. Why, why are you going to go judge someone else's cooking? It's, I don't know. It's yeah, so- yeah. It's like, because it's easy for people to throw around their judgments yeah. and stuff, but it's like, on what grounds or what basis do you stand on? Yeah. And most of the people that are discussing these things don't have any ground or basis. And then know? there's a bunch of uneducated people that back up that opinion, and this tidal wave happens, and you yep, get this whole wave mentality. of hate. Yeah, that herd mentality. It's, I love this message. I love what they're saying here. We completely agree. We've also seen this happen and experienced this. And mm-hmm. I, I think with that, we should just keep it writing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Alright, he he just Okay. 
I, I want to hear it again. I think he rhymed the English word of butcher with the Korean word of Buddha. Am mm-hmm. I correct there? Yeah. And it sounds like almost dead on. Mm-hmm. And he's done this so many times, but it's still impressive every time I hear it. I yeah. love it. It's great. It's impressive. I'm Gosh. sure there's some people, because I know some people mentioned in the comments that it's pretty common for like, yeah. like K- Korean-based groups to know English and Korean, so it's like less impressive to them. It's but impressive like, to us. Or to someone me. who's like monolingual or yeah. doesn't speak that language, it's impressive to like yeah. us. You know, it's like to me, I'm incredibly impressed because I don't speak two different languages. Well, I think I think it'd be easy or it'd be easier for him if he just spoke two different languages. But no, he's perfectly transitioning and rapping on a beat through these different languages confidently. And he just said that. He's like, I'm confident on the beat, right? He's actually mm-hmm. performing way better than most rappers would do in two different languages, okay? Yeah. You're telling me he doesn't get like a slight bit nervous or like as he's coming up on it, he's like, all right, I gotta switch here, you know? Mm-hmm. If that's not impressive, I. I, you guys are living a better life than I am, apparently. Yeah, because to me, it's yeah. incredibly impressive. Incredibly and I don't impressive. think the person that said that that I, that I had read in the comments mm. meant it that way. Yeah. But they're just saying that, like, it's more common. Well, yeah. No, yeah. I've, I've seen it in other contexts as well. Like, not, yeah. like uh, I think it was, like, Becky G or something. Mm-hmm. Someone was like, yeah, of course she's going to be able to speak both languages. And I was like... No, it's impressive that Becky G can switch between, like, from chicken. Yeah, it's it's yeah. it's not just the fact that they can speak two languages. Yeah. It's the fact that they can effortlessly switch during a, a rap or yeah. singing or anything yeah. and have it be so effortless and make it sound so good. Yeah, that's yeah. what's impressive about yeah. it. It's it's great. Mm-hmm. We'll keep going. Already boss, nah nah nah, boot shirt, but I'm a boot shirt. He's had a cock a bone like a boss. Fuck 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 on the iPhone. You don't need your airplane mode. I'm roaming yoga, yeah, she don't. And you know I can take it more. Don't bother, don't low. Paddle door, not the paddle door. San Paolo to Stockholm, in a box of more than two. Try to do it. I see the dude in my chain, but no problem, I kill. Got Luke to me in that Kobe, I end up high, then it's up to him. But I don't care, you'll take control of my shit. First hand is how my name is. Oh, <laughs> Jay, oh boy. All right, first of all, I just want to appreciate how, like, he's doing this almost like deep, gruff, like, rap style, right? And it's mm-hmm. like, oh, it sounds good. It's not what his usual sound, because it usually sounds a little bit more, like, higher tone, like, maybe a little bit more polished on the upper end, right? But this is awesome. Yeah, this it has more so of like cool. that raw feel, very yeah. indicative of like a cipher, mm-hmm. you know. But what I really like about J Hope and in his raps, and you can even hear it in this, yeah. even though he's doing that deeper tone, is he still has that like Positive. playful teasing yeah. Yeah. like sound to it. Like you can tell, like some of the words, some of the things that he's saying, mm-hmm. it's still like very much like J Hope. Like he still has like those fun little like yeah. teasing moments and stuff that like yeah. you commonly see like when the way he raps or even just like having fun and playing around with it, yeah. you know. So I really like it. Also. He came to eat too. Oh, he came. Like, he he came in and jail was going hard. I was like, okay, jail. Yo, yo, he like I he I keep hitting another button, I'm sorry. I love this line. My my swag explodes wherever I go, I go forward. And like it's like it's like look, I'm bragging about myself. Like my swag is explosive. It's so it's so tightly compressed that it needs to expand because I'm so awesome, right? There's so much of it. When I go, I'll go forward. And that's like a positive thing. It's like, I'm just going to keep going forward. Mm-hmm. And like, that's just J-Hope. You know what I mean? He's yeah. just, it's about progression. It's about being happy. It's about like doing his, minding his own and mm-hmm. having a good time doing it. Yeah. And yeah. I love it. I just love it. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. And I love how he's using like um, some of the things almost as like, like some of the words. I wonder if, he, if we can get it with the five seconds. If not, I'm going to have to let Where? it play through. Uh, it was right when we paused it. Let me. Oh, okay. Look at now, boy, you're coming around. This time, I'm gonna get out of the way. 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 This right yeah. here, because this is something that 
RM has talked about, I believe Sugar has talked about, but I think they've all touched on a little mm. bit, but they've kind of like made fun of like rappers for like doing something like this where mm. like it just sounds good. Yeah. And he's using it and it sounds good. Yeah. But you can tell that it's that he's also using it as like to make fun of like yeah. the rappers that the, the rapper or rappers that they're referring to in this song. He's yeah. just like showing it's like, yeah, I can do that too type of thing, but it's like, oh, like you're so cool because like, the, yeah. like this is what you do on the beat. Like when mm-hmm. you get on the beat, you know what I mean? It's it's like it's like when somebody like their whole rap verse is this type of stuff, right? Like mm-hmm. like just basic rhyme schemes with like non text or I guess non like context words. It's it's like just like mumble rap yeah where, like it sounds good be- it, it like it sounds good to the ear because of the way they're presented yeah because they're just like yeah. it's just like going and going yeah. to the beat yeah so it just sounds more like an instrument instead of like a vocal yeah. piece but anyone can do that and that's what they're yeah. showing is like anyone can make that sound good because it's not you that's making it sound good it's mm. the concept yeah so it doesn't actually make it good it's just the yeah. concept of it plays on the way that the human ear works and yeah. the brain You're likes. like, this is pleasing. Yeah, it's not, exactly. It's not, it's not like... It's not skillful. It's yeah, not... It's not poetry. Yeah. Yeah. Drip like water splash. Drip like water splash. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Sugar, man. Sugar is so like, like raw and like oh, raunchy, but not in a bad way. And I think shit. that's one like the differentiators between him and like J Hope and stuff. Because like J Hope, like, like, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, but like, no, no. J Hope isn't gonna say something like that. Like J Hope is not gonna say like, I will make any guy or girl climax with my flexible tongue, you know. Mm-hmm. And and RM doesn't really like. RM has like very raw lyrics, but mm-hmm. he doesn't he doesn't really go for like the raunchiness. Yeah. But like Sugar has that raunchy side. Yeah, he's to gonna him. go there. Yeah, yeah. 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 And you're like, you're like that's like that thug yeah. side to him too. And you're like, yeah, that's Sugar yeah. right there. Yeah. yeah. Like, also, I mean, I, I like that lyric because it's <laughs> very funny and it's just very much like a flex. This okay, like we haven't stopped it because we've been enjoying it so much. But this is just so impressive. His whole verse is so impressive, right? Mm-hmm. It's awesome. It tells a really good story. He's talking about how he's like a global phenomenon. He's like this impressive rapper. The person he's rapping about is just this loser that can't even do anything. He's a cheap mm-hmm. three inch tongue motherfucker. Yeah. And yeah. it's just so And like the double so entendres awesome. there yeah. are awesome too. Even yeah. when he, he like used the three inch tongue and then he used the uh what was it rhyme job or or yeah just, or whatever oh, you know like it's like it yeah. definitely has like these double and taunt my flow job you know, yeah. flow job goes all the rude no-name rappers and toys with them yeah and you know like obviously flow job something like blow, blow job, job toying yeah. with them and stuff like yeah. that like all very clever all very like double and yeah. taunt indicative yeah indicative it's um, very yeah, it's very <laughs> more sexual the double entendre which gives it an elegant raunchiness Mm-hmm. It's like I'm gonna be clever about this, yeah, but it ain't gonna like, be I'm nice. I'm dissing you, and I'm hitting it on like mm. so many different yeah. levels. I'm not like just dissing you so directly, like, "Hey, you're a bitch, fuck you and your yeah. mom." But it's like I'm like dissing you while also bragging at the same mm-hmm. time, while also like 
comparing your rap skills to like your lack of sexual yeah. prowess and so it's just like <laughs> it's so he, incredible he's saying i don't even need to have sexual prowess my words make girls come dude it's like any guy or girl i can make them quiet yeah. in my flexible tone because uh, you know my voice is a tone like it's like it's so funny because it's like <laughs> this is not usually the conversation we have when we listen to bts <laughs> It's good. It's amazing. It I, is I, great. It's finger looking good. It's finger looking good. <laughs> we had a whole it. conversation about that shit earlier, but we didn't record it because you don't need this to This is why we don't stream, okay? <laughs> <laughs> we get banned so fast. <laughs> That's the end of it. There is one last thing that I want to mm -hmm. jump from Sugar's verse, which I like really liked, and it's something that we have talked about too. So it goes along with it, and mm -hmm. that's what's really cool about it. So, right here, all you bros who grew older without maturing, and then the next line. <laughs> In my standards, you were all like babies, right? Mm -hmm. So th there's this theme of talking about like maturity and like age yeah. and stuff like yeah. that. And then he goes on, this rap is for those hip hop seniors. And this is what mm -hmm. we were referring to. Yeah. It's the people that are fans of the old school hip hop, yeah. people that are, are fans of real hip hop. Yeah. You know? And. Well, we also saw that in RM Joke, mm. where he was. Yeah. Where he was. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so, welcome to the Southeast Fatir. I'm sorry, guys. So, so we saw an arm joke, right? He was like calling out these references. Like he talked about like Biggie. He talked yeah, about Tupac, I, yeah, I Tupac. Yeah, and it's like. Is we were like, wow, like if only more rappers would take the roots that RM was taking. And we see Sugar being like, this is for the seniors, right? Mm -hmm. These are for the mature motherfuckers. The real fans of the, hip hop. Yeah. No, this is real. The real fans yeah. of hip hop in Hollywood or whatever the fuck it's Yeah. Called. This, this, like, oh. it's it, rap is, we were talking about this last night on the phone, but rap is just degrading and degrading and degrading. It's just going to hit rock bottom soon. It's just going to be, instead of like, Instead of actual like poetry, it's just gonna be a beat. It's literally gonna be yeah. a beat, and this is this is literally what you're gonna hear. Okay, okay, so. Oh, I got this hot yeah. hot spit take from Zaya. Mm. Mm. Just just make rant, just mm. make like a beat. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and that's gonna be it. Like you're just Dude, gonna it's be, gonna be like yeah. ten minutes of ad libs. Yo, yeah, yeah, literally ten minutes of ad. DJ Booth Beater. <laughs> I just beat my wife. Let's yeah. get on this track. Yeah, let's get on this track. Yo, yo, from the left <laughs> side. Just, just, just yeah, yeah. East Coast, rah, to West rah. Coast. We don't want to offend anybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're just like, yeah. <laughs> you told this was the hot shit you was telling me about. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you came in. You came in here and you was like, I just wrote this new yeah. hit, nigga. You ain't have one sentence. <laughs> There's not one coherent sentence. He's like, what about the part where I said, yeah, 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 and then yeah. rah, 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 well, and then I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I rhymed, yeah. With yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's so bad. <laughs> jokes aside, yeah, jokes aside, I love that he's like being like, This is for the people who are actually gonna appreciate it. Yeah. It's hard because not a lot of rappers are making music for people who are gonna appreciate it, they're gonna listen, yeah, to, they're making music for the masses, and yeah, that's the mainstream the stuff, yeah. 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 So, I mean, yeah, this is just incredible. All right, we can yeah. take this off the screen, we can wrap up really quick. I think the maybe like. Was it right here? There was something I wanted to reference, but I think they said, I have no problem killing. Uh, I will kill, kill for you. Or, yeah, yeah, they they did. They killed for you. Yeah. For our army. 
Um, what a what an amazing video! What an aggressive sound it was in this one. Like J Hope even came with a little bit of like aggression in there, we but a like more but raw, yeah, yeah, him, but yeah, still, but still saying him, yeah, still yeah. kept his kept his essence of being the beacon of hope. RM killed it. Sugar animal raunchy disgusting i love it mm-hmm. yeah yeah impressive. impressive from beginning to end like if you're a fan of real rap you will yeah. appreciate that if yeah. you are not a fan of real rap you will not appreciate that yeah you, you know will, yeah and that's I, what it comes down to i think that's i think that's why and like you guys will see it right like these videos won't get as many views because it's more like deep stroke rap and i saw like a lot of fans were like oh i'm like i'm an older guy i wouldn't or older person i wouldn't uh I've listened to rap until I found BTS and the Yeah, yeah. Right? And that's awesome. Like, there are a lot of people who are missing well, out on, like, a good side of rap because what they're hearing is trash rap and they'll never hear real good rap. Yeah, yeah. That That is a big issue yeah. where, like, people, like, say that, like, they don't like rap or they don't like hip-hop because they've heard things like Gucci Gang or, like, yeah. they've heard, like, just, like, the very yeah. overly sexualized type of rap and it's, like, yeah, that's only one part. It's just, like, with any music genre. You know yeah. what I mean? Like... Like, it, it would be ignorant for me to be like, oh, I don't like all that screaming, so I'm not going to listen to rock. And it's like, well, no, that's heavy metal. That's yeah, different. Yeah, like, it's, different, it's not yeah. all just people screaming and telling me to yeah. kill myself. Like, I was <laughs> I was really fortunate because, you know, when we were growing up, I was like, hey, who should I? I was like, I'm going to start listening to rap. Who should I listen to? And they were like, boom, here's, here's J. Cole. Yeah. You know, and, like, I got set up on the right end. God, and, like, if you guys don't listen to J. What Cole. What was that like, song that we both, like, it was, like, the first J. Cole song we both listened to? Lost Ones? Was it Lost Ones? I, I think like, it was Lost Ones. I think it was the very... I, I believe... I'm like 99% sure we were at our friend Joe's house. Yeah. And then, like, we had Pandora Radio shop. Yeah. Pandora Radio. Yeah. And then Lost Ones came and I on. And we like, on my new this? phone. Yeah. yeah. And then, like... Like, he spit, like, just, like, there was, yeah. like, this raw, fucking, real-ass rap. If you've heard, what if you haven't heard Lost Ones yeah, by J. Cole, yeah. I highly recommend you Let's check it out. It's really, really good. Um, we love J. Cole. Like yeah, that. and I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. But, yeah, going back to this. So, like, again, like, this this is definitely for the real rap fans. Obviously, it's different from mainstream BTS songs, right? Yeah. So, for us, it's not going to get as many views, which is totally fine. This is a Girl, more okay niche. Yeah. Yeah, this is a more niche thing. This, this is, is real for face. the hip-hop yeah. lovers, which we still need to do hip-hop lover. That will be coming. I've, yeah. I've seen your guys' comments. Trust me. So, I really like it, and I really enjoy this side of BTS as mm-hmm. well as the mainstream side of BTS. Yeah. Because unlike some mainstream shit, they're good regardless what the they're fuck they're doing. They're on everything. Yeah. Yeah. And we've talked they about that. They could come out with a country way. song and I would be like, yeah. Country road, <laughs> take me home. BTS road. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to the place. Take me to McDonald's because we had the BTS meal. <laughs> <laughs> but no, this is awesome. This is a really fun experience. Uh, yes. Heads up, tomorrow we will not be doing a Cypher. We will be doing a Black Pink video because it is Black Pink Friday. Black Pink Fridays. Monday, we will do Cypher number four. We will, we will come back, the revitalized after the weekend of pounding beers and drinking all day long. Setting out five. No, I'm just going down. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> But we appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for coming back to each and one of our videos. For the real fans that are here on the ciphers, I know it's like kind of like not the most popular thing, but we fucking love them. And thank you guys yes. for suggesting them. And since you've made it to this part in the video because you are an absolute beast and a real one. We love you. Go ahead oh. <laughs> and leave this emoji right here. Yeah. And we do love you. But I love that emoji. It is a great emoji. And now it's gone forever. <laughs> and where did it go? <laughs> to the YouTube comments section down below. Yeah. That's where you leave it. Thank you guys so much. You and guys sorry are awesome. if you guys can't find all the emojis. Put whatever the fuck you guys want on there. You guys you guys have fun with it. You guys combine emojis. I see that too. Yeah. Like the fire and the It was heart. like only newer iPhones, I guess, had that emoji. Oh, is, what I, yeah. is what I saw. So, yeah. interesting. YouTube's finicky. But thank you guys so much. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Yo, come up. Your man better step up. My fat bed just watch from my checkup. Matter of fact, bed just stop. Flex up, matter of fact, just no pump in the blow. Wait, 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 hold up, is it too late? Just have to break a straight.